Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Psalm 42 verse 11. It reads as follows. Why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my savior and my God. So social media, right? It is this absolutely efficient and quick way to connect you with people literally all over the world. It has taken us from these more intimate circles of our neighborhoods, our schools, our churches, our workplaces, to literally people across the globe where we can connect with this vast circle instead of the more intimate circle. And the thing is, social media is an inanimate object. It's just a thing. It's like money or homes or cars. It's just a thing that's neither foolish or wise. It's neither good or bad. It's neither helpful or harmful. It's just an inanimate object. You can use money to help people or to harm them. You can drive safely and give people rides and use that for God's glory, or you can drive under the influence and run red lights and speed and harm people. You can have a home that's a home of gathering, of warmth, of joy, of fun times, of security, or you can have a home that's abusive, that's manipulative, that's a landmine, that's a place of insecurity. Much like money and cars and homes, social media is neither good nor bad. It's what you do with it. It's whether the person using social media is helping or harming. They are wise or foolish. They are doing good or they are doing bad. And much like the money, the cars, the houses, much like other inanimate objects, social media can be used for bad if in the hands of those who would use it for such things. And some people, they actually deal with anxiety from using social media. They deal with FOMO, fear of missing out when they see other people's lives and they compare their own lives to other people's lives and they suffer anxiety or depression because they feel as though they are not living life or enjoying life as much as some other people they see because the access is much easier. Researchers in a 2001 study in the Journal of Youth and Adolescence reported that girls who use social media for two hours a day, girls 13 and up who use social media for two hours a day had a higher clinical risk of suicide when they were adults, most likely because of constant comparisons to others that they see. It is reported that between five and 10% of Americans are addicted to the internet because of the dopamine rush they get when they post something and they receive praise and accolades for it. That dopamine rush leads them back wanting to go back and get more. It's also reported that we, human beings, we talk about ourselves about 30 to 40% of the time in person, but about 80% of the time on social media. Our scripture today asks, why my soul are you downcast? Why are you so disturbed within me? And sometimes that happens subconsciously. And with social media, that can happen subconsciously. You need to sort of do a self check. You need to see how it's making you feel. And if you are feeling sort of down and depressed by what you are seeing on social media, whether it's good or it's bad, that's your cue to take a break, to step back, to limit your time some, to just step away from it from a, for a little while and detox from social media just for a little while. Be sure that you personally, you are gauging how social media is making you feel because if after the 20th highlight reel post, you are starting to feel down and depressed because you haven't had a highlight in a month or two or three, then that's your cue to maybe step away from it for a little bit. If you find yourself comparing rather than celebrating, that's your cue that maybe you should take a little break. And what should you do instead? Just as our verse notes, you should put your hope in the Lord for yet I will praise him, my God and my savior. You should remember that God has really great things for you. Even if you feel like you haven't had a highlight in a while, you should remember that God is preparing you for where he is taking you. He has good things in store for you, good things coming up. You should remember that, oh, I have a life to live. I should get out there and live it and enjoy it. You should remember that there are plenty of things to be grateful for and you should focus on the good and not what you don't have. Remember that social media is just a tool. It's how people use it, but it's also how we use it for ourselves. So if you're feeling down, if you're feeling like that comparison trap is just sucking you in, if you're feeling depressed, take a little break, step back from it, limit your time on it and be grateful for where God has you and for the good things that he is going to do in your life. Let's pray. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the reminder to just sort of do self-checks every now and then, Lord, with just about anything, Lord, including things like social media, Lord. Help us to recognize when it's being used for good, Lord, or when it's not being used for good. Help us, Lord, to stay on the path of righteousness for your name's sake, Lord. And when we feel as though we're falling into the comparison trap, Lord. Help us to take a break, to reset, refocus, Lord, and then to get back in there for your glory, God. We thank you, Lord, for gifts like social media, but we also thank you, God, for the gift of recognizing when we need to take a break, and we give you the glory, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you guys. God bless you so much. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I very much appreciate you watching. Have an amazing, amazing day, and I will see you next time.